What is up guys, this is your boy Five Nights Finest the Sofa Commentator bring you guys another Madden 13 online ranked gameplay. But this video is not about the gameplay. I will actually want to send a message to the Fight Night community and just talk to you guys and just maybe you can learn something from this whole situation that's going on. You know, me and my channel, one thing that I like to do is I like to discuss topics or you know, if I can help anybody in any way just understand something about me or my mindset or my point of view. You know, I'm all for that. Or if I can just help somebody understand just my mindset or, you know, if they can learn from a mistake that I made or from a group of people that I'm associated with, you know, I think that's always a good thing to always be able to learn and accept knowledge from all places, regardless of age or, you know, how tall, how big a person is or how mentally sane they are. You know, it is what it is. And, you know, I just want to, yeah, I just, I just kind of need a moment to then, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But, yeah, like I said, you know, if you notice over the past two weeks, you know, my channel, the amount of videos that I'm posting up and the type of content that I'm posting up is just, it's just not what I usually post. What I normally like to bring to you guys, you know, I'm trying to make changes to make my content even better and make myself an uh, even better commentator than I am already. You guys say I'm good, but you know, sometimes you don't always have that belief in yourself or that type of confidence in yourself. And as I continue my channel and as I keep posting videos, I gain that confidence from you guys and your comments and the stuff that you leave and the amount of people who are subscribing to my channel. So I'm starting to gain confidence that I'm becoming a better commentator. And I'm also realizing some things about myself that I didn't really realize before. So, you know, YouTube is not only helping me grow as a commentator, it's helping me grow as a person. And if any of my commentaries or my topical commentaries or the mistakes that I make can help you grow as a person, I think that's, you know, an equivalent exchange towards each other. But, you know, recently you guys might have been noticing the beef videos that's been posting up on other members' spawns videos and how we've been going back and forth in the comment section. And it's just childish and it's immature. And I think it's something that we all need to move past and get along with each other better and communicate with each other better. If there's one thing I learned about communication is that just a slight dip in understanding the next person can lead to unnecessary drama and trouble that can easily be solved by just talking to each other. So, you know, I attempted to do that with uh, Rhythmworks and Pemby and, you know, Pemby got back to me, Rhythmworks didn't. And I had a conversation with Relapse the other day and, you know, we I gained an understanding about Relapse that I didn't know a couple of months back. And crazy thing about Relapse is he's the first person I met on YouTube. First person that really just allowed me to, you know, really just try to help me out with my channel and put me in the right direction or at least give me a start off so I know what it is that I can do. And, you know, I can get a few people watching my videos and then came Sakuraba and, you know, a couple of other people who is no longer with us. But, you know, that's just all stuff that's in the past at this moment. And, you know, it's the stuff that you learn about people now that allows you to better understand them and better understand their mindset and the stuff that they're going through and the stuff, you know, and the reason why they act the way that they do. And it's always important, like I said, to know how to understand a person and to know where their mindset is because it can avoid a lot of unnecessary stuff if you just simply talk to one another. So I can't state how important communication is, but it is what it is. You know, I'm watching Rhythm Works throw his temper tantrums and, you know, he's going off like a small child. And the thing about that is it's just immature, you know. I'm sad to say this, you know, you're half a century old, man, and you're up here arguing with a teenager. Like, come on. Come on, man. Saying things that just try to hurt people and you're bringing up topics that is unnecessary. You know, you're acting like a kid where, you know, oh, I'm not talking to him, but tell this person that if they want to do this, you know, you just can't seem to stop taking sh shots at people, man. Like, you're constantly sniping at people at every opportunity and chance that you get. I don't know if that's your form of defense mechanism. You know, everybody has their own way of trying to keep themselves safe you know, mentally safe, instead of getting, you know, feeling a certain way, we all have our ways of dealing with stuff, you know, me, sometimes I talk, I'll try to say something that will hurt you really bad before you get to say anything back to me, or I'll end up punching you in the face, you know, I'll, I'll resort to violence, because that's just my defense mechanism, that's how I am, 
I will either tell you off or I'll make you feel mentally incompetent. And then afterwards, you know, the way that you feel afterwards, you know, I'm like, I'm the kind of person that will beat you up and then I'll help you out after I beat you up. You know, that's the kind of way, that's just the kind of person that I am. You know, I will feel bad about it afterwards, but if it, as long as it keeps me safe, that's my way of defending myself mentally. And that's my way of defending myself physically from verbal attacks and a lot of other things. That's just me. I don't ever let anybody step on me. I don't let anybody walk over me. That's just the way I am. I stand up for myself and I stand up for what I believe in. And I guess that's part of my code of honor that everybody has. You know, everybody has their own way of, letting, of what they stand for. You know, their morals basically is what I'm trying to say. Before I continue on with that, I'm not going to continue on with that rant anymore. But you know, rhythm works. I don't know what your problem is. Maybe you're feeling unappreciated. Maybe you feel you're not getting enough support. And maybe you were hurt by some of the stuff that's been going on with, you know, other members in the community. That's your problem. You need to display those problems publicly. There's a way to talk to people and there's a way to understand one another. And if you can't if you can't get through with that then you're gonna have a lot more issues in your life, my friend. And that's the way that it goes. Now, moving on, you know, I want to I want to touch on certain people like, you know, Relapse, Dave the Rip One, and Sakuraba. As far as I'm concerned, these people have proved to me that they're worthy of my time, my effort, and, you know, they're just good people. And they're people who want to do something with themselves and do something with their channel. They have a sense of direction as where it is that, where they want to go with YouTube, what they want out of YouTube. And they're looking to make improvements all the time. They're always looking to become better at what it is that they do. You know, Relapse, some people don't support what it is that he does. But I can respect anybody who runs their mouth as much as he does. And is willing to deal with the consequences after he does what it is that he does. For what it is that he says. And he's a man of his word. And I can respect that about any man who's able. No pause on that. There's no homo in this conversation at all. But... I can respect any dude that's willing to say what it is that he has to say and is willing to back it up. And I see that with Dave the Rip one, you know, he's he's always trying to encourage people to stay out of drama and stay out of problems. But at the same time, you know, he's always looking to improve and he's humble about the way that he does stuff. There's no fakeness in that guy. And he stands up for other people that he believes are morally right. So I can respect that about him. And Sakurab is just a supportive dude and he does what it is that he has to do. He puts a lot of effort into what it is that he's done and the passion that he has about his content, I respect it. And those people as individuals have respected me and have not disrespected me. So if you respect me, I respect you. Respect isn't given, it's earned. And those those guys have earned my respect. And you know, other people in this Fight Night community, Doc Dosa, AC Gaming, you know, 40, 400, you know, there's a lot of other people in this community, but sometimes your good can become evil spoken of, Bible reference by the way. And what that basically means is that sometimes the bad things that you do overshadow your good works. With that being said, you know, as much as uh, I like AC Gaming sometimes as a person, you know, sometimes he just goes against what I stand for, or sometimes it looks like he's deliberately making everything about him. I don't like people with a proud look, and I don't like selfish people, and that's how he comes off to me comes off as a guy who's selfish and has his own agenda when it comes down to everything and you know every time I try to get in contact with the dude he just basically blows me off or you know he avoids me or he says he's gonna do this and then and it never ends up happening and that's not a man of his word that's a guy who's gonna say what it is that he has to say and you know he's, he's hard-headed he wants things that he wants done to be done a certain way this is no hate towards 8 z gaming as a person this is just letting my this is my reasons for letting people know why I'm cutting them off. It's as simple as that. If you're not with me, you're against me. And that's the way that I'm seeing certain members and certain individuals. For instance, Doc Dosa, let's take him for example. First person I ever had problems with on YouTube. And I think there was a reason behind that. You know, he's very deceitful and he acts humble and in that humble manner. You know, he goes behind your back and he's the type of person who says things or leaves comments about you in the comment section. And that's what I see, you know, up front, you know, he's going to act cool with you. And then you look back when somebody's slandering me, that's when you're supposed to have somebody's, you know, that's when you're supposed to have somebody's back. That's when you're supposed to have somebody's support. That's like you getting jumped in the street and you're seeing your boy, you're getting jumped and then you go in there and start stomping on him with the rest of the people. 
oh, so now you're playing double agent. You know, we I don't respect I don't respect anybody like that who plays the humble role and then use that humble role in order to, you know, buy his way into people's hearts and get them to subscribe to his channel. Because that's the way that he does it. You know, I'm watching you on every single comment section for, for any Fight Night videos that's being posted. And there you are on your knees, simply sucking somebody dry and swallowing everything that it is that they have to give. That's not how you earn your way through YouTube, man. At least in my opinion, that's not the way to run your channel. Anybody who goes against my ways or my or the way that I think about things, or at least if it's not morally right, it's a problem with me. So that's my issue with Doser and then just stuff that he says is it's just an act and I don't like fakeness and I don't like fake people. And that's the kind of vibe that I get with him. And in fourth he he's a cool guy. I like the dude. He is you know He's helped me through some tough times, but he's not around enough. So if you're not, if you're not, a, what use are you to me? And what use can I be to you if I can't ever, if I can't ever find anything that you do? So you know those type of people. I li like I said, there are things that I respect about each and every one of those individuals, but there's a lot of stuff that I don't respect about them, and there's a lot of things that they do and say that gets and irks, irks my nerves and it annoys me very very much that I even have to deal with some of these individuals at certain times and with that being said you know when business is bad you get out of business so with these people you just get rid of them and you move on you know rhythm works you know my problems with you man and the immaturity and the way that you act out you're just unstable as a person from the way I see and just the way that you conduct yourself and the conduct your channel, I guess we see differently. And the people that I support, if that's going to become a problem where you don't like somebody because you don't like somebody. Like, do you see how much high schoolish this sounds? Because he doesn't like her, I don't like him. Like, that's just a way of kissing somebody's behind, man. Like, it doesn't work like that. Just because you don't like something about me doesn't give you the right to judge me. Anybody who can compare themselves to Jesus Christ and to a serious um, problem that's going on in the world, that just shows how self-centered of a person you are. And it's, it's just, I just can't work with somebody like that. And I can't have any dealings with a person like that. And then you won't, you don't listen to reason. So if you can't listen to reason and you can't use logic and use your head, then, you know, I can't have anything to do with you. So that's pretty much the commentary, guys. This is what I'm thinking. This is what's going on in my head. And, you know, this is what I'm looking to do in the near future. I'm looking to post some Madden 25, maybe some GTA 5. When that comes out, keep posting my Fighting and Champion videos. Keep posting my videos and running my channel the way I do with a positive environment. I'm giving the best effort that I can in all my content and working as hard as I can to improve my channel, get my subs up and work with you guys and talk to you guys and learn some stuff about you and continuously interact with you guys. I'm trying to avoid the drama and this is my way of doing it by cutting certain individuals off and keep blocking people are disrespectful and don't know how to disagree correctly or respectfully at least. This is your boy Fight Next Finest. Hope you guys enjoyed this commentary or at least learned something about me. The Sofa's Commentator signing off.